While the stated policy of Dino Nobel is zero harm, the reality is we've fallen far short of that goal. Right now, a stretch of I-35 is opening back up after a fertilizer spill completely shut it down. A tanker truck hauling dangerous and highly combustible ammonium nitrate breaks down. This guy's got dynamite on the truck. This is imminent danger. This is about us. This is about, this is about all, all of us. us. Whether you are new to Dino Nobel or with many years under your belt, you know how important safety, health, and the environment are to our company. But don't work safe because it's important to the company. It should be more important to you because if something goes wrong, if someone gets hurt, it won't be the company who goes to the hospital. It'll be you, the one who does all the work out there. Global HSE report, February 2010. Hand laceration, shoulder strain, strain lower back, hand fracture, multiple contusions, crushed index finger. Driver lost control of both truck resulting in rollover vehicle incident. Driver received minor injuries. Bulk truck is a complete loss. Inability of driver to determine vehicle speed due to faulty speedometer. Fatigue due to lack of rest. Visibility reduced by morning sunrise. Hazardous road conditions. Root causes. Unsafe behavior. Being in the line of fire. Inaccurate communications between the blaster and the mine superintendent. Inaccurate risk assessment. More than 98% of our workforce is injury-free at any one time. The challenge is eliminating the gaps in our zero-harm performance. We do this by having a good HSE management system. The capacity of the bulk truck was far too small, so there was like nine, ten thousand pounds of stick powder that had to be used. Good leaders and a strong culture. Culture is what we do when no one is watching and a leader is anyone who can manage their own behavior and influence others. Everyone should be a leader. Supervisors and managers have a special safety responsibility because they control many of the variables that contribute to injuries. They have the authority to control work, to prevent incidents from occurring. If you are a supervisor or a manager, act accordingly. Explosives plant. The fire broke out at Dino Nobel, uh, Nobel at the south end of Saratoga Springs last night. The plant tests explosives and stores hazardous materials. For that reason, officials determined it would be safer to allow the fire to burn itself out. An estimated 20 to 40,000 pounds of ammonium nitrate spilled near I-35 and Highway 36. It's a fertilizer, but it can be highly explosive. It's what Timothy McVeigh used in the Oklahoma City bombing. If it explodes, if it was to ignite, it would be a pretty good explosion. So we do not want anybody getting hurt. This is about this us. Is about this, all is, this is about, about all, all of us. us. While the company will provide a safe work environment, work procedures, training, and support, it is the basic responsibility of every employee to work safely in all conditions and at all times. If you believe something is unsafe, work with your supervisor to make it safe. You should know your HSE responsibilities. Come fit to work, follow rules and procedures, use your training, assess risks using Take 5, keep our area and equipment clean, report all incidents, correct hazards, be vigilant. This is the core work for which we will all be held accountable. Work accordingly. Remember, consequences are not a threat, they are a guarantee. Just three weeks before the Olympic Games, two tons of explosive material missing from a Surrey storage facility still isn't accounted for. Several American-based companies are involved in the investigation. We need to speak with anyone who had any contact with the actual ammonium nitrate just to see if we can follow that paper trail and come up with a logical explanation as to how there is a discrepancy. Regardless of how safe or unsafe any one situation may be, 
it's our behavior that is often the difference between injury and being safe. Stay out of the line of fire. Keep your eyes on the path. Follow work procedures. Watch those working around you and your place of work. Make sure you use the right tool for the job. Ask yourself, am I a risk to myself or others? Zero harm is all about prevention. If you wait for an incident to occur to get involved, you make yourself part of the problem. If you roll the dice by cutting corners on safety procedures, you make yourself part of the problem. If you do the right thing the right way, you're part of the solution to achieving zero harm. Think about it. This is about us. This is about, this is this about, is about, about all of us. The more we talk about safety, the more people think and act safely. Don't be afraid to speak up if you have an idea to make our company safer. Don't forget, you have an obligation to watch out for your co-workers. If they do something unsafe or find themselves in an unsafe environment, be your brother's keeper. No one should do work for which they have not been trained. You have an obligation to ensure you retain and use the knowledge and skill you gain from training. No job task should begin without a job safety analysis and or a take five. If you don't know, say so, say no. We must consider the environment and the communities in which we work. We must strive to minimize the impact of our activities on both the environment and those in it. This is about us. This is about, this is about all of us. us.